What's up, guys? Hope you all are doing well. Today, I am joined by Mr. Thomas Evans. And Thomas, how you doing, man? Feeling good? I'm doing great. Yeah, excited as ever. Training's really kicking up right before we hit this taper. So it's, you know, everything's kind of falling in place. I love it, man. Well, we're talking Strongest Man on Earth at the Shaw Classic, August 17th and 18th. So the the countdown is officially on. And, and I mean, it's it's kind of crazy because your prep is winding down and, and I'm trying to organize everything to, to make the contest happen. So uh, stress in a different way. But looking at this contest, looking at the events, I know that you are a guy that, that really likes to put your head down, just do the work, get ready to go and let your performance come out and do the talk. And I know that about you, but give us some insight, man. Like what events, what events are you excited about? Like whether it's going through the prep or just in general. Yeah. Well, this is, this is always hard for me to kind of give out information here, but, uh, well, you know, give obviously, about what you're comfortable with. You don't have, you don't have to open the whole book, you know? No, well, I mean, I, I'm really excited for, um, the log and axle press medley. Um, you know, I've always liked pressing a love ladder style, uh, opposed to reps that way you just get the pain through as fast as you can. And then you don't have to do any more reps, just five and done. That's it. It's set. Um, that's true. It's set. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I've been looking forward to a squat for a while. Um, I think I had to, you know, kind of rehumble myself in the beginning of training. Um, I'm not as good at the squatters I thought I was, or I used to be. We spent so many years really, really, really trying to get better at deadlifting. So I spent a lot more time box squatting and safety bar and everything that correlates a little bit more with deadlift. Um, and it's nice to be back under a straight bar on a more, more normal type squat. Um, obviously there's nothing normal at the strongest man on earth though. Sure. <laughs> yeah it will it will i don't think it'll look normal for sure when when we're done but it'll it'll be fun nonetheless yeah absolutely that's yeah good. and then that, um, that's good man so so has squat has squat gone well now that you've transitioned back to that i mean do you feel you feel pretty good about where you're sitting with that event yes i feel, I feel confident i i don't uh you know i'd say i feel more confident in that than a deadlift but that's just my background <laughs> I, I think i'm always gonna feel that way but um, you know, deadlift starting to click too. Um, hoping to pull a big PR for that. I'm excited to be on a, a normal style bar. Um, because I always prefer more like axle or deficit deadlifts where it requires more power off the floor. Those seem to help me a little bit more. So just having a standard deadlift rather than a uh, Hummer tire or elephant bar where, you know, that weight's increasing as you go up. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then as well as the, uh, my biceps have been doing well, um, been able to actually get in some stone work and, you know, feel a lot more confident about stones now than I did at the beginning of training. So I'm pretty excited about that as well. hundred percent, man. Well, it's amazing as you go through how you build confidence through a training cycle and you hit some of these events and, you know, they maybe at the beginning don't feel the way you want them to feel, but then as it right. starts to click, as it starts to click, it, it starts to get a lot more fun. Yes, Absolutely. I love it. I love it. So I I think that you're comfortable in saying you're one of the guys that that is going to finish the overhead medley. You feel you feel pretty comfortable in that? Yes. I mean I'm gonna get all five. It's just a matter of how fast. I love it. I love it. I mean, this is you know, th that could shake some things up, you know, in in a big, big way. And you know, with the um, you know, with the deadlift being done the way it is, with you guys calling all of your weights with the mm -hmm. rounds, the, a true round system, you know, we're going to reset the bar each round, you know, the strategy is going to come into play. And, and, you know, I know there's going to be a lot of talk of, okay, this, the biggest pulls, but yep. there's also going to be a heck of a battle right in that, in that middle range. And a lot of points could be potentially picked up, you know, with, with a 10, 15 pounds more on the bar, 20 pounds more. Yep. Like, and this is the battle that, is really really fascinating with that event so you saying that you're ready to pull a pr is is exciting too yeah yeah i you know i'm I'm not looking near four digits yet but my i'm going into the goal is to win out of the good pressers or the strong presser uh, excuse me the best pressers i want to be win the deadlift out of the best pressers i love it i love it man and that's but that's the thing is exactly what you're saying and from a strategy standpoint if you beat the best pressers at deadlifting, now you get to see what, what they're doing and, and kind of, uh, you know, get a gauge of where you need to go on the, on the, uh, the press medley, you know, so 
if if people that are watching this aren't familiar, the way that the order of these events is done is is it's based on the previous event, not by overall score. So if you score well in the previous event, you're going out later or last in the next event. So that's a huge advantage, especially on that, you know, the press medley, because it's not only number of implements, but also time split. Mm -hmm. So it massively helps on strategy to walk into that with, with at least a position where you get to see some of the better pressers go for sure. Absolutely. And then you can, it helps pace everything, whether you have to hit five fast or hit three implements fast, and then like use the full clock in the last two, it's, you know, that deadlift positioning could be everything to do with that press medley. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. So other, other events, are there any events where you're like, Hey man, I'm, I'm really concerned about it or looking at it as a, I need to conserve points in this or, you know, are you feeling I, solid at everything? At the beginning of prep, I would have said that about stones, uh, just because with, um, you know, minor injuries to both my, both my biceps this year, um, stones wasn't where I wanted that world strongest man obviously and now I feel like it's in a better place I'm definitely more confident than I was you would ask me two weeks ago I would have been like eh, I don't know um but I've had some success in the recent weeks I have figured out that I need to cover my stones with furniture mats and a tarp before I go out there and lift them in the heat of the day because at Delaware it's been like real fill 110 and I keep trying to lift stones I'm like why is my tacky not working at all. I don't have a yeah, I don't have a choice but to go outside. So um covering them up it instantly boosts my confidence. I found a, a good way to get a good training effect. Um just make the stones boiling hot. No, no <laughs> yeah. Well I mean it's I can promise you this it won't be a real feel of 110 in the arena. So I know that that arena is nice and cool and it's my favorite arena that I've probably been to. It's oh man, it's it's gonna be good, man. So if you're here's the thing is if you've been training with with hot stones like that, you you are gonna you're gonna be locked in for sure. You know, um, and and the stones obviously will be perfect and you know brand new. I I just got a glimpse of them today. I haven't seen them yet. They haven't arrived, but they're. I got a little teaser video, man. They, <laughs> there's something else. I I, oh, I I'm pumped about that. So it's good to hear though. I mean, if you can be well-rounded that's obviously the name of the game right like being successful yep. with this thing and i know i know for you again going into this or i shouldn't say i know i, I can certainly guess what your goal is overall mm -hmm. what you want to do and and you know this is a obviously a huge stage for you to come in and really mix it up um with with everybody being here right you get all the all the top guys six 16 of them and then eight mm -hmm. events, you know, it, it doesn't, you know, in my opinion, doesn't get any better. So it's, you know, it's, it's really a huge stage. And, you know, I mean, how are you feeling about that? I mean, are you, are I, you have to be excited and, and optimistic with how you're going to. Oh yeah. It. Yeah. I'm over the moon. I mean, it's really, I, I seem to be kind of a guy that more events seem to go better for me. Um, and I just try to consistently be in that top third and, you know, sneak out, maybe a podium spot, maybe just under, but you know, that's, that's where my eyes are at. I finished in uh six last year and and I'm really, I'm really trying to push for a podium here. That's, or that's get awesome. real, or get real, really dang close. Um, yeah. From you're, you're, I, I, would say, I would say for sure, man. And that's, I'm happy to hear, I'm happy to hear you saying that because it's, it's, you know, something where you can you kind of came in, got, you know, got onto the stage last year with strongest men on earth. And, you know, the, the, your, you know, for example, that, you know, the standing uh, keg press was mm -hmm. wild. Like, I don't think anybody was expecting you to come out and do what you did there. Crushed it. Like you, you really shook some. I, li I like it that way though. That's why I don't put a lot of things on this. No, show. I know, man. I know. <laughs> like I said, you, you're definitely one of those like more, I don't know if, if old school is the right term, but that's that's how it used to be. You know, a lot of a lot of guys would just go train and you really didn't know what was happening, what was going on, how they were doing, where they were at. And yeah. now everybody kind of posts everything almost immediately, you know? Yeah, I think well, probably for both of us, Brian, it comes from like football and basketball background, right? Like, why would I put my practice tape for everybody to see? And I know it's a little different. You still have to go out there and lift the weight, but and I know I have to I have to post stuff. 
and I, I want to keep the fans engaged, but I just don't want the competitors to see it if they're looking. If sure. anything, I'm not going to put the weight. I'll make them add it up. They really, really want to. Yeah, you could save you could save the weight, man. You can 100% save the weight. And the other thing, what I kind of used to do um, at certain points was I would be delayed, right? So I would save my training and, you know, maybe four weeks later or sometimes even more than that, I would put something out and everybody would say, oh, that's, you know, current. But, you know, for, for this prep, for you, instead of it being right now, it could have been what you were doing back in, you know, May or June, right? And now yeah. it's you're you're already you're already so much further past that right but it's kind of you could tease people different ways um and and interesting i haven't thought about that yeah kind of shift the target right so it's like oh man and then you could also say uh if you do that they they then throw people off your trail saying oh man he's only doing that i'm not worried about him at all even though it was so early in the training right like you know it doesn't when you put the video out, it doesn't get time stamped, you know. So you can you can. Uh, I'll, throw, I'll throw up some uh, week one prep. Week one prep. This is the <laughs> thing, man. Throw everybody off. I love it. I love it. No, that's that's awesome, man. Well, I am. I know I'm excited. I know a lot of people are excited to see you come in and mix it up and and really, really, uh, you know, surprise some guys, right? Like I think that that you know that's kind of what you love to do. But also, as the talking begins to happen more and more here. You know, it's, it's, I know what you're capable of. I know there's people out there that know what you're capable of, but, you know, I think there's also the fact that you're being quiet. Like not a lot of people talk about you coming in and, you know, how many people are going to bring you up with, with potentially winning the overhead uh, medley or, you know, finishing it like stuff like that. Right. But you're going to come in and you're gonna not much from the videos I've seen. I've been watching. Don't worry. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> you Good motivation for me. I love it. I love it, man. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, sit down with Thomas Evans. Make sure to give him some love in the comments. If you're interested in any more information about the contest, about coming here, about watching the live stream, anything for the whole Shaw, Shaw Classic weekend, just click on the link below the video. Check it out. We definitely appreciate the support. And uh, Tom, we'll see you in Colorado in a couple weeks, man. Thanks, Brian. Can't wait, man. We're really looking awesome. forward to it. I'm looking forward to it too, buddy. Right on. Hope hope the rest of the training goes well. Appreciate it.